Hi everyone, it's Retro Lucky, and today we are back playing some Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, last time we played, I made a right balls of everything. Because I was trying to build my new three houses for quite a few days with no success. And I thought the problem was the bridge, because I'd put it in the wrong place, it was connecting to the wrong bit of the island. This is not the case. Stupidly... <laughs> Uh, when I was placing the furniture outside of the house, it wasn't very clear So I'd just thrown the leaves on the floor and left them there and it wasn't finished So while I was playing off camera, I went and actually placed the items outside the house And that is what triggered them to be built So we're back today and the houses should be built Mabel's back. We're gonna talk to her. We're gonna see Sherry and Kid Cat it's gonna be a good time. I'm sure there's lots going on. Let's jump right in and find out, shall we? Hello everyone! This is Tom Nook! It's 5.17 this happy Saturday, April 25th, 2020! Now for today's news! Retrotopia gained a new neighbor today! Al! Oh, okay, so somebody has actually already moved into the new houses, which means they must have been built. It's someone called Al. I don't know if we'll like them or not, but we're gonna go and find out. I hope you give him lots of great advice about living here. Yeah. Go tell him how how <laughs> how horrible it is and we make you do all the work. I wonder how much he had to pay for his house as well. Also Wonderful news everyone! We've received permission to expand a Retrotopia Museum! Oh cool. No, there's no time like the present, so a museum is under renovation today! Eh, what? Terribly sorry I can't assist visitors today. Please pursue our new and improved space tomorrow. Good old Blathers, always ready with a statement for our broadcasts. Alright, it's time for our final announcement of the day. For all you DIY loving island residents out there, I have a very special announcement. DIY veterans can now take part in a special customization workshop I'm hosting. I wonder how much that's going to cost. Learning how to customize will help you change the look of any DIY projects you create. Hmm. I have no doubt it will broaden your creative expertise. I'll conduct this DIY workshop inside resident services. Curious crafters should stop by. That's all from me. I do hope you all enjoy another fine day of luxurious Retrotopia living. So, I can see the house is built from here. What is that? Oh, my, okay, my wife has left me a, a pinball machine. That's quite nice. I'm going to put that in my house in a minute. These new residents, that's one of the houses right there. And I can already see, like uh, Sherry and Kid's cat's house, it's nicer and bigger than mine. I, and I, I don't know why. Maybe mine will look like that once I've upgraded it more. Who knows? Right, let's go and talk to uh, Tom and see about this uh, DIY workshop, shall we? And then we'll see Mabel and see go from there. Ah, oh, Chris! Hello! Hello! As you might have heard on today's broadcast, I'm now offering a new workshop on customization. I think you'll find DIY even more fun when you master this skill. I do hope you take me up on this opportunity. Is this a way for them to like, make us into sweatshop workers to make like chairs and stuff for him to sell? <laughs> Ready to dip your toes into the delightful waters of customization, Chris? I'd love to. Yes, yes, that's the spirit. Let's get started. Your goal for this session is to make a wooden wardrobe and then do some customizing. The wardrobe you'll make, as well as closets, chests, and other items that store clothing, are quite useful. You could use your custom colored wooden wardrobe to put on your own fashion show. <laughs> that freedom of expression is just the sort of thing I want to stamp out in Retrotopia. I mean, that freedom of expression is just the sort of thing we enjoy here on Retrotopia. Hmm. Oops, you're going to need the DIY recipe for it. First, let me send it over now. On my boomer phone, again, I'm learning how to use it better. There we go, all set. 
So, come see me after you get a wooden wardrobe, hmm? Stone. Oh! Who are you? <laughs> I like the look of this guy. Let's talk to him, shall we? Let's put the axe away. That's a little threatening. And he does not seem threatening at all. He seems very chill. Look at him. He's magnificent. I wonder if... Uh, is he the new villager? Hey, man. You you live on this this island? Thought so. I'm from, like, the next island over. The name's Harvey. Glad to meet you, friend. You can call me Harv if you want. I wonder why no one ever does that. Is the Vey just fun to say? Sorry. I got a bit sidetracked there. I, I came here for a reason. Give me a minute. I'll, I'll remember why. I, I, I got it. I keep hearing about this island and how how much folks dig the scene here. So I thought I, I'd check it out. I'm gonna start this far out artists collective, man. I'm looking for ideas. So, what's the deal? I heard that this place was like deserted, like literally like. A deserted island. You the hunt show that put this place at the head of the class? Wait, this old noodle just had a casserole of an idea. You should visit my island. I grow the best plants around, man. Just hit the airport and tell them you want to go to Harv's Island. That's the name of my pad. Groovy, right? <sighs> anyway, nice jowing with you. I'm gonna stroll around, see what makes Retrotopia tick, man. He is fucking cool, man! I like him. I mean, I know the game's like sort of aimed at kids and they can't have pot smoking whatever animal he is in it but damn he is cool he would be pot smoking that all over the place i bet he's got pot growing on his island and that's how this video gets taken down okay <laughs> he was cool though i liked him i wish i wish i could invite him to live on my island that's a shame we should have enough wood now Get one wardrobe coming up craft uh, where's that gonna be now there we go wooden wardrobe let's craft it I made a wooden wardrobe all done for now well I guess we can start our workshop now that you've got your wooden wardrobe ready I'll give you the customization kits you'll need in a moment for now, please step to the workbench. Hmm, looks like you're ready now with your wooden wardrobe. And you have some pocket space. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. First, Chris, I'll give you some customization kits. Okay. Next, pull out your wooden wardrobe and try customizing it. Okay. I guess this is it. Wooden wardrobe. Okay, so we have these really cool colors. We have light wood, white wood, cherry wood, dark wood, black, green, blue, and pink. And we need two customization kits to do so. I think we're gonna go with the black theme. I always liked that growing up. I always wanted black bedroom with black furniture and all this. 
Um, my mum would not let me have it, so <laughs> I think the I, she she uh, compromised to a dark blue. That's the best I could get out of it. <laughs> So, yeah, we're going to be living our best life and having black furniture. Are you okay with this design? Yep. I customized a wooden wardrobe. Okay. Yes, yes, masterfully done. As you've just seen, customizing items is quite easy when you have customization kits and a workbench. You can take the extras from today as my gift to you. Use them in your future customization projects, hmm? As a graduate of my workshop, you'll now be able to buy any kits you need from the shop. Now, for the most part, you can customize furniture or other items you've made as DIY projects. And this concludes my workshop and customization. I hope you enjoy putting on a fashion show in your home using your custom wardrobe. <laughs> No! Take a break, hmm? How do you believe you've earned it? Okay. It was free! Tom Nock was been nice, I know what it is. The workshop was free, he gave me the customization kits for free. Three new villagers have just moved in, or one new villager has just moved in and the other houses are sold. Those houses are bigger than my house. Tom Nook has probably just made a million bells today. So he's feeling generous, he's handing out some free stuff. Okay, who shall we see now? I think we should go and greet our new resident and not with an axe in my hand either. So, here we go. Oh, this is a nice house and bigger than mine. Some nice stuff here. Okay, I wonder who lives here. Does it say on the, the sign? No? Oh, Al's house. That's it, Al. I remember now. Let's go talk to Al, shall we? <laughs> it's fucking Donkey Kong. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. And the floor is mud still. So, in Tom Nook's luxury housing complex that he's building, you get the house, but it's on mud floors. So, let's. This is Al. He's gonna be called Donkey Kong now. I don't care. I wish that was a feature in the game that you could nickname the villagers. Look at his fucking ass! And he's just sweeping the mud. Uh, yeah, let's let's talk to Al, shall we? Ooh, nice to meet you! I'm Al! I just moved here today, all on my own! I can't play yet because I gotta unpack my snacks and my other stuff, like furniture and stuff. But come say hi tomorrow. Okay. Sorry, I don't know. He, he looks like an idiot. That's how I think he'd sound. Not. Did you just try and kiss me? Okay, a little concerned about Al. Maybe uh, they don't come back tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, this is going to be a hoot, as Blathers would say. Uh, let's go see Mabel, shall we? See what wares she has today. And we may even come back tomorrow to get to see the new museum as well. Oh, hey Chris. You came just at the right time. There's something I'd like to ask you today. Could I bend your ear for a bit? Uh, sure, what's up, Hedgehog? Oh, thank you. You see, I wanted to ask you about a location for the store that we're thinking of opening. Oh, cool. So the hedgehog is also going to open a shop on our island. Thanks to you, we've gained a lot of customers on this island. There are literally three customers on the island, and now four with Weird Al. Weird Al. Thanks to you, we've gained a lot of customers on this island. You can't wait for me to come here peddling. So... I've been talking with my sister about opening a proper store right here on the island. She come all the way from Yorkshire as well. So, so today I came to chat with Tom Nook and we had a great conversation. He was all like, we have some materials left over from building Nook's cranny, hmm? 
Cool. That was Mabel's impression of Tom Nook, by the way. All that must be done is to select an appropriate location, yes? Oh, and the perfect individual to help you find that location would be Chris, yes, hmm, yes. So I figured I'd just keep doing the traveler peddling thing until I ran into you again, and that's now. Oh, jeez, I've just been rambling on and on, haven't I? Sorry, I'm pretty excited about all of this. Anyway, my sister and I would feel better opening this shop with the help of someone Tom Nook trusts. So how about it, Chris? Can you be our location scout? Sure thing. I'd love to find her. Seriously? Oh, you're a total lifesaver. Alright then, let me give you this Taylor's construction kit. Just set it up in whatever spot makes sense to you, and that's where we'll have our shop built. Okay, cool. Nice. I like Mabel, she's a nice character, so we'll be we'll be kind and have her shop somewhere somewhere nice. Uh I'm guessing Tom won't want us obstructing the view of the Grand Museum. I wonder if I can trample these flowers. <laughs> Even though they're Maybe here, if I'm lucky, I don't know. Taylor's construction kit. We're a little too close to the plaza, okay. Should I reserve this space for the Taylor shop? Let me imagine it first. Are you gonna show me the building or just a bunch of bricks? Oh, wow. Is this a good spot? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Near my house. I'm gonna talk in Mabel's voice again then. This is where the tailor shop will go. A wave of fashion will wash over us. I bet. Okay, so right near my house and also blocking some of the light coming into my house, no doubt. I'll go talk to her again, see what she says. Plus, we'll have a look at her wares. Hey, you found a spot for the shop. Thanks so much, Chris. Once we're all set up and everything, I hope you'll swing by and support my sister and me. I wonder what her sister's like. Is her sister, are they twins, or...? Oh, hey, Chris. What's up? What's on sale today, Mabel? You got it. Here's what I am selling today. Okay, we got a basketball tank top, a bomber jacket, some three-quarter sweatpants. I'm pretty sure most people have been wearing these through the duration of the quarantine. A bomber style skirt. Ooh, they're cool. Cool cats wear those. Everyday socks. A ski mask. Pajama dress and some rain boots. Uh, nothing for me today, thank you, Mabel. Nothing that tickled your fancy? Well, I'll have different stuff with me next time, so be sure to stop by. Let's go see uh, what Tommy and Timmy have in store today, shall we? Hello, hello. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. Okay, oh cool, we got some cactuses, we have a board game, a uh, stool, and my wife bought this earlier, this was a pink lava lamp, and as much as I like my retro stuff, I, I let her buy it. Uh, we'll see what's in here as well. Curious about what's in the cabinet? Here's what we have today. Today. Uh, not too much going on, okay. I'm just gonna see something. I'll be here if you need anything else. I'm gonna see something. I wanna try talk to Tommy. This is Timmy. Yes, yes, of course, of course. What do you need? It's like the entire game, we're always talking to Timmy. Timmy this, Timmy that, and Tommy, poor Tommy, is living in his shadow in the Nook Empire. He's the, the sec, you know, the repeating of the words. The He's a second class family member so i want to try and talk to tommy well then please don't hesitate to ask if you need assistance assistance i will i'm gonna talk to tommy hello tommy yes yes of course of course what do you need i'll laugh if this is tommy <laughs> tommy echoing himself and not to me doing it and Timmy's just like <laughs> Okay, so they're clearly just the same. 
Uh, I'll sell you my wasp's nest. So this is what I was talking about for. Of course. What exactly are you offering? Offering. Wasp's nest. A wasp nest? Sure. How about if I offer 300 bells? Now, the other day, this was two and a half thousand bells, and they've reduced the price to 300 bells, which really, really tanks the economy. Like I said, I don't mind. It's going to give me more hours out of the game. You guys are going to get more videos, more content. It's good news, I guess. Sold, apparently. Thank you. Please come again. Again. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everyone, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Lots has happened today, and I didn't think that it was going to. We've invited Mabel to come and have a shop on the island with her sister. That's now going to be built. Hopefully, that'll be ready tomorrow. The museum is being refurbished or expanded or something. Hopefully, that'll be ready tomorrow as well. Al, the fucking weird Donkey Kong guy, has also moved onto the island and will be available to chat to tomorrow. So, that's it for today. Lots more to do tomorrow. We might even have a new resident to look at. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and check the link in the description for new merch. See you later.